Hey everybody, this is going to be a little bit shorter video, probably talking about VeraSpeed. Uh, this is an option in Logic, which I think is just so amazing and yet likely to be underused by most people. Uh, maybe you don't even know that it exists. Well, this is a time to maybe experiment with it. I'm going to show you one uh, specific use of this, and then you can expand on this and use it any way you want. If you don't know how to turn it on, you're going to right click on the top toolbar here, and you're going to turn on VeraSpeed, uh, which is right here in the middle. Uh, sometimes if you have, for instance, this set to Beats, and you try to customize this, it'll be grayed out. You have to be in one of the custom ones. And then it shows up here. Now you'll see I've got mine turned on and set to a plus two. Uh, there's two, or there's really three, but there's just mostly two different options here. Speed only means that we turn this up and it goes faster or slower, but it maintains pitch. Uh, and then we have Vera speed, which is speed and pitch. And so as you speed it up, it goes higher. If you slow it down, it goes lower. And then we have Vera speed and MIDI. And this just refers to external MIDI instruments. So it'll actually transpose the MIDI output. Um, so really these are very similar. It's just one does external MIDI and the other one doesn't. Uh, and so we do this. So what happens in my workflow most of the time is that I'll be using this near the end of the production. I'll get the mix just how I like it. And then I'll think, you know what? I wonder what this sounds like 2% faster and higher. Uh, and then I go up from there. So let me turn this down to zero. You'll see my original tempo is 110. This is where I started this song at the very beginning and recorded it. Here I am trying hard to understand. And then I moved it up to 2%. But I can go up to like 18%. Let me let you hear that. Here I am, trying hard to understand. But if I did speed only, this is what it would sound like. Here I am, trying hard to understand. I can hear a little bit of uh, gurgling there, but that's okay. So let's go back down to the zero for a second. Reset your ears. Here Let's take that up to 2%. Here I am, trying hard to understand why we never met before. And then I think it just gives it a little bit more something than when I originally recorded it. It's not in the normal key signature anymore, in the normal tuning anymore. It's a little bit different. And you can actually change this. You can actually do for instance, tuning reference instead of percentage. If you want to do this at, you know, instead of A440, you can do A443 uh, or whatever. You can go to any tuning system you want for the whole Logic project. Pretty cool. You can detune or you can just change the tempo. I'm fine with percentages most of the time. So here's where something interesting happened. I put that up at 2% when I finished the first verse and the chorus. And then later, uh, I'm going to mute one of these tracks. I actually recorded the second verse um, at the 2% up. See what I see now, I know you, I know it. Found me here so very near. So that's actually how my voice sounds. It's not sped up. I sang it at a slightly higher pitch. But that's, you know, voice can do that. So if I put this down at zero, it actually is going to slow my voice down and lower the pitch from where I sang it. Now I know you, I know it. Found me here so very near. And then I thought, you know, what if I want to add some harmonies and have them sound a little different? So I set it down to minus 10 and sang a part. See what I see now. So it's slower, it's lower. I could do a high part pretty easily. 
and then I speed it back up. Now I've got to keep it at the plus two because that's where I recorded the second one. But here's what that one sounds like now that I put it back at the 2% up. See what I see now I know I don't Found me here so very near I thought it was over now You had made it very clear So it's like a harmony part that sounds a little bit different than my normal voice because you're getting the pitch shifting and the time uh, you know, it's really being condensed down a little bit. If we want, we can always come through here and select, well, it's on the overall track, so we don't need to select, but we're going to form and shift down a little bit to bring the, the sound a little bit less Mickey Mouse. That little warble is actually from one of the other tracks, not that one. And so you can actually speed it up. And when you record it at a normal, like you're going to sing it at a higher pitch and a faster um, phrasing, but then you go back down to the 2% or the 0% and then it'll be pitched down. But it will be, well, it'll be more like tambored down because the pitch will continue to be with the project always. So you can take this up, sing it, the pitch will go with the project all the time but your voice will change so you can get interesting harmonies if you want to do this on a section where you're doing a bunch of uh, harmonies you can just do it like three percent up three percent down when you match it back to zero you're going to get all these slightly different sounding voices that will blend really nicely because it's still you just a little bit different okay this is just kind of a tip hope you found it useful uh, this tool is really cool and um, it's one of those things that makes logic unique in many ways